Okay guys, this is Ashra. Okay, we in this video I'm going to continue uh, the tutorial for Spider-Man's illustrations. Okay, uh, if you miss the first part, you can click in the video. I I put the videos in the link in the video and uh, you might take a look on the first part of uh, illustrations of spider-man's characters from the end games by using gravit designer all right okay let's go let's open recent okay yep it's here all right sorry for that i forgot to rename the files correctly let's let's correct it now okay let's yeah that's dahlia my daughter okay let's save to file and save it as one dot spy the man and game all right let's go and save hmm. oh i am i save in dropbox let's see again Save to file. Oh no wonder it's I'm saving Dropbox. Okay, let's save in the desktop. Okay. Spider Man and game gravit designer. Right. Okay, alright. So let's continue. Uh in the part one we left I left you until the body parts and the hands okay now we're going to continue for the lower body part which is his legs all right so again now i'm going to mm -hmm. what is this all right this is hand this is hand okay. so this one rename is hand underscore r uh, hand L okay. and let's go. Ah, right, right and left. Okay, this is body. Mm -hmm. This is the body. All right, spidey body. Okay, it's in the body folder. So for the legs, we create another layers for the leg. New layer. Just click at this icon. And the name it as legs. All right. In this legs, going to create the legs and the boots for the spidey. But I'm not going to uh, do the details, the webs here. Maybe I just doing it simple way as I'm always done in my blocks. My illustrations for my blocks very simple, cartoonish looks. All right. Uh, but first I have to select all these the head and as well as the body okay but I have locked the head here so unlock the head I select head and then shift or control body so going out the bit and I'm going to resize if you want to resize this skill you just select all these and just same like illustrator we just shift click and resize it or alternate shift resize up now oh, the base for my head is being locked unlock that select again shift alternate right mouse button and control and let's get all right so again now i'm going to lock this can you go yeah the you have to lock manually from the folder okay and i'm going to bring the legs folder below the body folder layers i'm sorry it's called layers <laughs> all right so head body legs okay and now i've locked head and body layers so i can't move and i can select and move uh bodies and head now 
all right i'm going to create the legs by using pen button okay if you're wondering how i scroll in scroll out just press control scroll up to zoom in control control scroll down to zoom out okay you press h to what is it called pen is a pen to adjust the positions of the canvas all right okay zoom in press p for pen button and which all right i just do it as normal stand like that like that like that right like that nope I need it I going to make it more simple than that P again so clear the layout yeah, something like that. okay close that all right you see okay i think i like that okay now uh, i'm going to use blue color for his tight pants his tight pants uh, his leg. all right okay blue uh mm -hmm, yeah dahlia okay with what kind of blue okay let's go let's go to browser okay where's my browser and go to the Color levels. Oh, we just put that here, 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 here. Quite dark blue somewhere here, maybe. All right, this blue. Okay, my brother just pop up. Never mind later. And then I want to delete. I want to remove the outline. Select border. Border. Yes. Yep. I'm uh, going to adjust a bit the feet. Is it feet or foot? It's feet. Okay, select the legs, press D, you will get this white white arrow. White arrow is called what? Sub select. Okay. If you press V, it's called for pointer to select all all legs. But if you press D you can select the vertices. Is it vertices? Ah, introduce call the vertices, but this one, whatever. So, all right, just make it looks like. Okay, not going to be perfect on the design, just a cartoonish style. Okay, so that D. Okay, D. Up oh, undo. All right. Yep. So just a bit on the waist. Up oh, quite big. Zoom in to somewhere here. Get away. This small area. D. Yep. If I like that. How does it look? Oh, yep. Ah, not nice. I'm going to make it the leg thin. It's probably have small legs. Okay. Yep. I think it's okay as for now. Right. So now we are going to create the boots okay by using which technique okay, can we use masking technique all right it's easy to use it uh this technique in illustrator but in graphic design it's quite ah it's quite not difficult but you have to do it 
two or three times okay let's say we're going to select this for the boots make like this these shapes all right and you select the color which is right all right the select this one copy or oh, remove the border first okay i don't want any borders remove borders all right so ctrl c ctrl v here right click transform flip horizontals and with that okay this is not the way of the boots that i want to use but i think this looks quite good for me so like spider-man spider-man spider before spider -Man. i think yep i want to i want to use this kind of boots all right okay leave it the boots here so let's name the boots select both of the boots control g the groups and name as boots all right this is what this is lake all right so make sure it's in which side oh the boots and legs supposed to be in the legs layers but now it's not in any layers it is so you have to click and drag and place it until you see the pink color and then you release now the legs the boots and legs are in legs folder all right cool okay now i think yeah do i need to let check do we need to yep so like this need to match this one like that yeah i think let's match with his ankle this is ankle not a shin okay okay how about this side yep spidey have a big boots all right so how about the spider logo mm -hmm. spider logo mm, all right so spider logo is put in the body okay we select body expand the body folder okay and i'm going to lock this oh sorry i'm going to lock the legs boot sorry the legs layer i've locked the legs layer now i'm going to add spider-man emblem and on the body all right i'm not going to as i i keep mentioning i'm not going to follow 100 percent the costume design i'm going to use my own ways so how to create the spidey okay uh, i'm going to use shape of ah, polygon i think polygon is good you just click there all right okay like that this is the body of spider okay change the color to black okay right so ctrl c ctrl v and make this quite small like that is it like a spider to you not yet this is just a body of a spider but yes now we can uh, all right so select both of this body of the spider's emblem and you head to this create compound shapes okay if you right click here union subtract intersects okay which is union with one to merge both shapes into one shapes okay 
now we have that all right so with that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right and we create the lakes ship somewhere there but right it's easy it's easy I'm just going to use pen tool again okay, that that and that randomly and that, ten, close and no borders all right cool okay all right let's wait oh still has the outline select this border did it all right no no more border okay then how many one two three four okay randomly i can what was that uh, again p Mm 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 yep. right so not good okay again P Okay V what else where else P I'm just doing it in randomly okay I'm not going to perfect it I'm not going to make it perfect because that is not my goal my goal is to have stylized D stylized all right okay and the one P Mm-hmm. This area. Let's look at that. All right. Again, you put the same step. All right. So now I have D D D S D. to just the anchor point. Oh, in 3D we call it vertices, but this is not vertices. The oh, ah, oh, my data is sleepy. Now, select by pressing set V, select the body of spider, the emblem, click one, two, three, sorry. Okay. So, that one, and create compound shapes, and union, not onion. All right, and then, oh, no, man. Sorry, before that, you have to let me copy and paste these spidey legs. Let's see, Ctrl V, there. Right click, transform, flip horizontal. Bring it to the opposite. So, there. Or press shift, there. Is it okay that one? Okay, and then you adjust. No, you just adjust here. It's not so All right. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Now select all legs. Oh yeah, just okay. And union. Pum. Okay, and then we save. I'm going save. And then we continue after this. Okay. All right.
All right, let's continue. So this is the emblem. Mm -hmm. All right, and then let's see. I want this color to be. This but I want to be why? Why why is not never mind. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay, let's just a little bit. So what else we're going? Okay, maybe we're going to add some blue livery here. Okay, to do that, it's easy. maybe we continue. P, and I'm going to make just like that. this one and we put it on the body unlock the body select this body control V yep now it's on the body all right copy this one control C control V and right click transform flip horizontals bring what's that yep sorry because I'm using the trial free versions so let's give a shift then press D adjust it up just to match yep all right let's go now it's going there it's going somewhere okay again for the emblem I'm going to put it also on top of colorlevels.com and I'm looking for blue spider-man blue spider-man blue because I don't like it blue mm, which one yes, it's one. maybe this one copy this hexa codes and select this blue 
copy this and put here. Okay, how about we copy from here? But that doesn't turn out as blue. Never mind. And we will adjust a bit darker. Or we go for dark blue. Dark blue. Mm -hmm. Let's see which one is as dark blue for Spider-Man, maybe this is dark moon, copy, uh -huh. paste the hexa codes here, paste, yep, is it good, I think this one is much better, alright, let's do this for the side strips, okay, as well as for the leg, Unlock leg. Alright. Yep. Alright. This is going to be like the original uh, Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Can I lock it? Okay, now. Okay. Lock the leg. Lock the body. Uh, unlock the head. I want to make the head I mean, bigger. Let's see how this goes. Select head and shift select. To make it like a block. Yep, I think mean it's much better that way. Yeah. now uh, ok let's add shadows under his I'm not having for my characters my drawings my illustrations for character illustration I didn't put any next but I replaced with uh, a shadow ok ok no border for shadow usually i will select the original color the base color and then i will find a dark color in the, within that the range all right and i mean usually will decrease <coughs> the value of the percentage of the opacity to 50 percent okay this is what i usually do and then I cut and I paste and make sure the shadow it's beneath the shadow layers is beneath the face base layer. So now you have that kind of effects of uh it's like, yep, it's like lights is sound from that you might increase to this is 80 percent also okay all right cool so now we have that kind of effects uh what else okay so again we give this team a shadow shadow all right lock the head layer and unlock the hand both okay i'm not the body layer select both hands all right i'm going to scale it bigger so make the hands bigger okay at this time i might play around with the positions the rotations of the hands my character, I like that. What? This, this spider is 
having the reaction like what right. oh, okay yep maybe this yep now almost done and uh, the special things about spidey next yeah. this spidey is have uh yeah, the spider legs this one okay but i'm not going to use this kind of spider legs but i'm going to looks for spider legs going uh going to cartoon yep so we go like funny shapes okay let's go for black widow black widow okay this is the black widow spiders not the black widow as Natasha Romanoff. <laughs> yeah. Cartoons. Cartoons. Yep. Oh, oh, we can go for Tarantula legs. Tarantula. It's because, yeah. another layer okay spy the legs okay so in spider-man in infinite war oh, the costume will have one two three four four legs four spider legs Yep. Four is enough. Yes. Then let's do four. Mm -hmm. Again, P. P. can you can make it curve okay by the select this and you select the join here to this one yep you're going to have that kind of looks if you prefer okay let's let's try oh sorry control c control v this control c control v and rescale so to add another legs for mr peter paka mr yep yep this one is rotate the p you can rotate from here or you can rotate from any of the edge yep yes 
Uh, okay, this one is too far. Alright. Yep. Alright. Save. Make sure you save your works. Okay. And then last, I will put the shadow here by using ellipse tool. Just make a shadow like that. Alright. And for the shadow, I usually use 50% of the opacity. 50% of the opacity in appearance. Alright. Okay. So control down to make the shadow behind. This is what shadow. Like. maybe 80 percent all right yep now we have finished the spiders maybe uh, let's see let's uh, do this do this curve things like that and you must remember every time you use pen tool you have to close the loops to change the color up I think that one is to get this to control C control V copy paste to C control V copy and paste and put it there Mm -hmm. I think this one is better. Select this one. Go to unions. Control down. Okay. So we have this kind of loops. Okay. Control C, Control V. Transform flip horizontals. Yeah. I think this one looks much like spider stick. Control C, Control V, make it down, rescale. Okay, Control, Control, arrow down. Okay, down arrow, sorry. And this one also Control C, Control V. Yep. And make it smaller. Let's get smaller and have a few rotations to make it looks not perfect. Okay, that yeah. Maybe people's wondering why. Hey, what is this? This is the spider's legs attached to this Spidey <laughs> Spider-Man yeah I think this is alright yep. yeah finish I think yeah finish so and I usually again We'll have this background color and send it back. Okay, and increase. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, for Jim, could you learn? And just this one to oh, okay. Sorry, this one bring back to make it a little bit darker. All right, cool. Yep, so finish. Okay, once finished, make sure.
sure you save you can delete this reference Ta-da. now you can export to PNG or JPEG so I'm prefer to export as PNG okay now I save in desktop Alright. Okay. And we'll palm in your desktop. Let's see. Finish. So that's all. So that's all. For the tutorial of creating Spider Man by using graphic design software. Alright. Till then uh we're going to I'm going to show more of this kind of tutorial. Please take like, comment, or at least subscribe for my channel. Thank you. See you again.